What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a little bit different video than I usually film. It doesn't have anything to do with cars, but I actually just got a new toy that I'm so excited about. So some of you might know I used to ride dirt bikes a lot. I haven't really ridden them in a long time. Grace and I had pit bikes at one point, but we actually ended up selling those to get her into a new car because her Evo is actually broken down currently and mine kind of is too, but my Evo is always broken down. I ended up, I splurged, I got a new toy and I'm really excited to show you guys. I've actually never gotten to do a build like this and I'm really excited. It's a brand new bike. I think I've ridden it twice. It maybe has 50 miles on it. I just wanted to make sure it was like a good platform before I build it. Without any further ado, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Here it is. Okay, so if you guys are wondering, it looks a little odd. It's like, what? what is this? Is this a pit bike? No, so this is a Segway X260. Some people know them as Surons. You can kind of see down here, designed by Suron. Now, this is a little bit more expensive than a Suron because it has like a Bluetooth app. This thing goes about 50 miles an hour. It's got really nice suspension out of the box. It handles really good and it's super powerful. And we're actually gonna be doing a build on it. So here it is in stock form. I've done literally nothing to the bike. Now, if you guys are wondering price on these, they are a little bit expensive. Now, these are 4,999. Surons are 4,200. Most people prefer the Surons because they're cheaper. They're literally the same bike, basically. They're made in the same warehouse. They have all the same features and they're literally the exact same bike. So I'm not a huge fan of all the Segway stickers, so those are gonna go. I'm gonna end up getting a new seat because that's a Segway and I can't rip this off, but all of these stickers should come off. So that sticker is gonna come off, those on the battery are coming off, that one down there is gonna come off, and this bike is going to completely transform over the next day or two. So Starting off, we got the Supermoto wheels. Now these are from LunaCycle. I actually got these, they're brand new, but I found them locally for cheaper than they are on their website. My whole idea with this bike was, you know, I balled out on the bike and I tried to get all the parts a little bit cheaper um, than the MSRP for. So these are really nice because they come with wheels, tires, rotors, brakes, and then it also comes with a sprocket, chain. I'm not going to be using uh, this sprocket. I actually have a much larger sprocket that I'm gonna throw on from Warp 9. So to start out, we've got the Dite. These are the 780 mil 31.8 rise bars. Now I actually found these on Facebook Marketplace for about 40 bucks less than they are on the website and they're brand new, never been cut. And then I told you guys, I got the Supermoto wheels. I got a 58 tooth sprocket and now this is from Warp 9. It looks sick, it's black. I think it's gonna look absolutely killer. I also got a chain and now this is a 114 link chain, um, which is the exact length I need for that sprocket. And now you guys are probably gonna notice this whole build is basically Warp 9 products. I figured if I'm gonna build it, I might as well get the nicest stuff I can. Now this is a rear uh, rotor guard. Now a very weak point on these bikes is this triangle right here that holds the rear shock. And so now I did get the Warp 9 triangle. It is black. It's gonna look pretty sleek. And it's made out of billet aluminum instead of this like, I don't think that's plastic, but it's definitely weak. And once these bikes flex, these things snap very, very easily. I didn't need these, but I really wanted these. Now these are just Warp 9's uh, brake levers. They are black. They're about the same as the stock ones, but I don't know if you guys can see this. So the stock ones don't have like that sharp of an angle, but these ones are a little bit shorter and it just looks a lot more comfortable for my hands. And I think they're just gonna be a really good addition to the bike. And another huge, huge weak point on these bikes, well, the pegs aren't necessarily a weak point, but they're super small. So I have huge feet. I always slip off of these. So I ended up getting, so I ended up getting these. Now these are not Warp 9. They're about the same quality, but they're a lot cheaper. So, I mean, you can tell just by that right there, they're gonna be so much more comfortable. I'm not gonna slip off because they have these little like spiked screws on them. And the biggest weak point on these is the peg brace. So I ended up getting a peg brace that sits like right here. And so on these bikes, if you crash, 
that can sometimes bend in and ruin your whole peg mount. I do have the headlight switch from Warp 9, and this I will be installing today. Now I think these are 30 bucks a piece, and then if you don't know, with this bike, as soon as you turn the key on, the headlight comes off. So this will actually sit right over there. It'll go right there and it'll look super nice and I'll be able to turn the headlight on and off. Real small bags, but these are titanium bolts. So I have titanium bolts for the rear sprocket. I have titanium bolts for the rear rotor and the front rotor. One bag of titanium bolts, two bag of titanium bolts, three bags of titanium bolts. I think this is like, a hundred bucks <laughs> worth of titanium, which is kind of crazy. I think it's gonna make the bike look just a little extra spicy, you know? Let's go ahead and take the stickers off now. So I'm not even gonna lie, that was a total pain in the butt, but we've got one side done. Look at this, it is so pretty on there. I am so excited. I mean, these stock ones, they're not like the worst pegs in the world, but I mean, you can just tell from the video, like such a massive upgrade. And then we also got the peg brace installed. That was super easy. I had instructions, cause you know, if you know me, I'm not very mechanically inclined, but if you do have a Suron or a Segway and you're gonna do this mod yourself, they say to take off uh, these two bolts right here and do it on this side instead of the side with the kickstand, cause it makes it that much easier. And then you're gonna wanna put it on the hole closest to the rear tire. And then I just went ahead and reinstalled the two bolts. Super simple. This is done. Now we're gonna go move on to the other side. All right, so now that the pegs are done, man, those look so good. The black and silver on the black and silver frame. Ooh, they look good. I'm gonna move on to handlebars because I really, really wanna see what this thing looks like with the tall bars. I think they're gonna look absolutely sick on this thing. So I'm gonna start loosening up all these bolts and get all this stuff removed and then swap the new bars on. Should be a pretty easy process, maybe slightly time consuming, but I'll show you guys the whole thing. So let's go ahead and throw the new bars on and see how they look.
got the handlebars on just look at these things they look so sick it does give it a three inch rise and man i'm just so happy so i got this side all installed i was actually able to reuse the stock grip i just slid it right on it ended up having to take off the headlight to get the new bars on gives it a much much better riding position we got pegs done peg bracket and new handlebars so honestly we're on a pretty good roll so far i like everything about you. 